Okay, so it's the afternoon of my second day, and I'm posting because um, right now I'm experiencing some emotional things. <clears throat> um, mostly what's coming up for me right now is anger, <laughs> um, frustration, and one of the main spiritual aspects I'm trying to work on through this fast is patience. Um, and it's interesting that it's sort of presenting as anger right now. And in some ways, I think it's just because, um, you know, my blood sugar <clears throat> is low at this point, And I'm not going to have the same even level of patience that I typically do. But it's funny because this morning, um, I had more patience. I felt a little bit detached from the situations and um, just calmer. And I'm not feeling that way now. I can tell that I'm at a particular low point. Um, it was a lot of things. Um, my daughter wouldn't nap, <laughs> for one. Um, and that tends to always frustrate me. For two, uh, my husband is the one that woke her up three times. Uh, so that would probably annoy anybody, to be fair. Um, and also... Um, he made food that the entire house smells like it and illogical as it is that makes me feel angry <laughs> um so i'm kind of just getting that i'm at a low point at the moment whereas yesterday i pretty much always felt good this morning i felt a little bit more physically fragile but like um overall i felt strong about things for the most part and right now i'm in like I'm in an ebb, I think. <laughs> so just waiting for the flow to come back. Um, <clears throat> went out to two stores and then have been doing some laundry, folded some laundry, and then was hoping to get my rest in while she rested, but that didn't happen. So that's frustrating for me, I think is, you know, part of what it is. So I'm just trying to work through what I'm feeling and separate myself a little bit, um, you know, giving her a snack and you can play in here and mommy's going to stay in here for a few minutes while I gather myself. And I'm also feeling some physical sensations, so I know that a lot of this has to do with my physical state right now. Um, I am getting the, um, like when your limbs fall asleep, I'm getting that easier if I stay in a position too long. And um, my body feels very hot. Um, just like a thermal, I don't know, maybe a ketosis thing. But, um, so I know that I'm having physical reactions along with the emotional, so it's just like this lower point that I'm in right now of my beginning stages of my healing. So it, it helps, I think, in some ways to be, you know, to have done the research first so you kind of know what to expect, and then when you're experiencing that, you know what's going on, and you're not just like, oh, this is going wrong, screw this. Like, this is supposed to happen, this is normal. Um, but I think, I think frustration with parenting is a big reason why, um, I maybe tend to jump to a food resolution more than other things. Um, I wouldn't say I mindlessly binge or anything because uh, I already do the intermittent fasting, but I would say that is when I most feel the draw to eat something when it's not my eating window would be when I'm frustrated, etc. Um, so I think that's what I'm experiencing right now. Um, I'm just going to get some rest, I think. I'm just going to relax a little bit and take some time away from um, the dynamic that's frustrating me right now. Um, I wish the smell in the apartment would dissipate. <laughs> um, and part of it too, I will say, um, one of the things I had to do out at the store today was do snack shopping. And I will say that that's basically the worst thing I could have possibly done. Like, that was pretty awful. <laughs> um, just shopping for all these snacks for everybody but me. And then, like, for me, when I, I like to, um... I like to have all kinds of different foods at a meal. Like, I like to have a little bit of, like, everything. Like, buffets are probably my jam, right? Like, I just like to have all these different flavors and all this stuff. Um, and so when I bring new food in the house, I like to have a little bit of, like, all of it to try it out at my meal or whatever. Like, I'm always excited to try these different things. And to have brought these new things in that aren't for me was a struggle. 
um, I definitely felt concerned when I realized the stuff that I was checking out and like bringing it home that like for maybe a few weeks, at least a few days, a few weeks, maybe a month that I won't get to try any of these things. So I kind of just reframed it and like, just because I have them, that doesn't mean I'm not going to get to eat them. Um, it just means not right now, but like I can still experience these things just later. And that made it a little bit easier. <laughs> um, I would say it made it a lot easier. Um, cause it's not necessarily like I immediately need to have this. It's just like the excitement of like getting to have them and getting to try these different flavors and things. And a lot of the things I bought are not things I'm interested in. Um, cause they aren't for me, but I did pick up a couple packages of dried apricots, which I love. So, so I'm like, Ooh, I wouldn't mind eating some of those. Um, but these are just the things that come up that you have to work through. So that is my afternoon update. <laughs> I'm coming from a not so happy place, but, um, I'm glad that I'm able to experience kind of the full spectrum because yesterday was like a really good day and that was sort of my normal thing to begin with, you know, so, um, I know that after the three days it gets a lot better. So I'm looking forward to day four, <laughs> even though that's not for another day and a half, but, um, yeah, so, so far so good.